Okay, so I just finished up my uh, portable stereo today, and I'm going to run over some of the specs and features and whatnot if you guys are interested. So it comes with a 10-inch uh, sub in the center uh, by Visionic. It's a 300 watts RMS. These are all car stereo parts, by the way. Um, on the sides are two 6x9 uh, uh, um, speakers. I think they're by Kenwood, and they're around like 90 watts RMS each. And then inside, um, which I'm not going to take it apart, but um, it has a 35 amp deep cycle lead acid battery. So like basically like a car battery that powers it all. So it's, I guess you could say portable even though it weighs a lot, as long as you put it in a wagon. So um, here, I'll take you to the back, or real quick, I just installed the solar panels on it. So I'll show you those real quick. And they all have hinges, so watch. So the main one right here, this tilts up like this. As you can see the hinges here and then here, so it tilts like this. And then once once you tilt it up like this, then you can open these up. These help support them right here. There's two more panels like this. So you get the full effect and you can like tilt it depending on which angle the sun's coming from. And uh, so the middle one right here, this one's 20 watts. And then these are each five. So it's a total output of 30 in best case scenario. And uh, I'll show you the back real quick. Let me take this off the tripod. Alright, so, as we come around to the back, you see, let me back up a little, that's the, um, the amp, which is a car stereo amp, it's, um, four channels, it has, uh, I have two channels for the, uh, six spine on speakers, and then I just use one for the sub, and it's 900 watts max, I think, and it's like 600 RMS about, I want to say, so, down over here is... A Sunforce 7 amp uh, battery charger. Get the glares there. Um, and this just ma basically makes sure that the solar panels don't overcharge the battery, and that during the night the battery doesn't try to put power back to the uh, solar panels. So it just helps keep the battery healthy. So then up underneath here, if I tilt these up, you can see. Try to back up a little. I have all the wiring. So you see, I have the wire for this, and what runs along, and everything all meets up at one central point right here and then comes down along here and then down to the uh, charge controller and the charge controller is hooked up right here if you look at all the wires I have these right, these ones right here are for the um... those are for the 6 button on speakers these two big clear ones right here those are, that's for the battery um, this one right here is for the sub and then these ones obviously are for the uh, charge controller and uh, I built a little switch in oh, cool little lights alright so I'll just show you real quick how it plays. In my iPod. Yeah, the way you look at me, chasing, cause every time I hear your voice, I feel my heart be start racing. Honest, I'm yours, but it's taking. Hope you find it, you'll face it. Never find a replacement. This is my own vacation. I want you to. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It just hooks in, if you see here, it just hooks in with a uh, standard 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So I got it hooked up to my iPod. And that's pretty much it. It'll run, um, I usually, uh, I just added the solar panels, but um, I've had the actual stereo, I built it about a year and a half ago. And uh, it'll usually, I bring it on the beach, I put it on a wagon, bring it on the beach, and it'll usually last um, about like, I've had it last like four to five hours. I've never had it actually dial me. The longest I've ever played it for is four to five hours, and it's, you know, gone pretty strong. And, you know, I just added the solar panels as a uh, way to charge it instead of having to charge it overnight with a wall charger, which gets kind of to be a pain. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh, I'm also planning on. I'll come back around here again real quick. Like how I showed us, the solar panels tilt. I'm planning on I'm planning on making like a stand for it, like something that unfolds and then you can like prop it and then just leave it there like that. But um, I can't think of anything right now that I'm gonna use. I'll figure something out eventually though. So uh, that's pretty much it. There's my stereo for you. Thanks for watching.